Okay, this is uh, video number one of the uh, His Church at Lust Hills project to build uh, some wind uh, turbine power generators. And we've started assembling the parts. Uh, a couple of the core elders and myself and my wife Angela, we went uh, and purchased the things that I didn't already have, which this uh, little inverter I already had. These two different charge controllers I already have with these wiring. This 18 amp hour universal battery, uh, UB 12 volt at uh, 18 amp hours. Um, I already had that. These will be coming off. They, uh, it's in a different configuration right now. Um, this is the actual DC motor uh, that will be uh, put into the uh, wind turbine uh, to turn the shaft to generate the DC voltage through the wires. The parts that we don't have right now uh, that are kind of major components are the, the hub uh, to attach uh, the uh, blades and the arbor which will uh, uh, fit uh, over that that will have a threaded end to it that the arbor will sit down that the blades are attached to that will be bolted down so when the blades turn the arbor turns and uh, uh, the hub turns, which then in turn turns that drive shaft to generate electricity, um, 12 volt. Um, this is actually the motor is a, oops, turned upside down here, turn this around. Um, Tech, it kind of got rubbed off there. Um, max of 48 uh, volts DC, uh, 0.33 amps. And uh, that was uh, purchased by one of the elders in the church and donated. Um, some of the parts, um, I'll get to the stuff on the floor first. Uh, the big 6 inch uh, PVC, which is a 10 foot section, that's all the uh, uh, warehouse store would sell it in. Uh, that's what will be cut um, into the blades, uh, quartered and, and blades. Uh, shaped for a leading and uh, trailing edge. Um, the nice thing is, is with this 10 foot piece of pipe, we can actually create 20 uh, wind turbine blades out of this. Uh, they're two foot long and uh, you're quartering. So at uh, 10 feet, that's uh, 20 blades total. The, um, the two inch piece of PVC down there on the floor, uh, that um, that creates the tail uh, of the uh, the wind turbine configuration uh, that would actually have the uh, weather vaning tail uh, in it to swing the wind turbine around. The 4 inch pipe I actually had already so I'm just donating it. We're going to use that uh, to create the cradle um, that will actually hold the DC motor. So that will be a little bit longer than the motor cut and then uh, kind of a cap cut out for the motor uh, to actually cradle into. Then the cap will actually be put back over the motor to protect it and then these uh, worm drive band clamps, pipe clamps, will be used to hold that cap on. What that's going into is this sanitary T um, and uh, that's the purpose of this reducer. And you can see this is kind of how it would be configured with the 2 inch uh, pipe coming out of that reducer to create the tail. The 4 inch pipe coming out of the front of the sanitary T uh, to house the motor assembly. Then coming off this 2 inch reducer um, uh, joint here, that's going to be the uh, create the pivot joint that the uh, wind turbine will spin around in. And um, that's what all of this is. This will create, um, uh, go in here with a thread and uh, then the galvanized section will go in there like so. And then the uh, one inch pipe thread started a little bit so you can kind of get an idea. So now that, that will create the actual pivot 
and that's what these little washers here are for. They'll go, two washers will slide up here, get some bearing grease, and uh, then this will slide down into this 10 foot, one and a half inch piece of Galvi conduit. And that will actually be what would be the principal tower shaft to get this at least 10 feet up in the air. So um, that's what these parts, this little uh, cap here, this little tester cap, uh, that's just to seal the um, end of the uh, tailpipe so that uh, water and critters and things don't get into the end of the tailpipe where the vein will be. Now the vein, uh, we're actually producing, uh, one of the elders has some old road uh, aluminum or actually metal steel road signs and uh, we're going to use, we're going to cut those and shape those and grind those down to create the weather vane tail. Um, everything you see on this side of my little notepad, uh, these are all the uh, nuts, bolts, washers, uh, rubber grommets for the wiring. The wiring will be uh, running down the tubing all the way down with a hole drilled into it where the rubber grommet will allow the wiring to come out of the pipe to be hooked up to the exterior stuff. Um, and all of, all of this stuff here, basically the the uh, uh, shielded vinyl coated clear cable rope and the turnbuckles and all this stuff is to create the guy wires and support system to hold that um, uh, one and a half inch tower pipe up. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of where we are. We got all the parts. Um, oh, here I did the cost analysis. And I'll bring kind of bring this up a little bit. I don't know if we can kind of zoom in on that. The parts that we've purchased to make one that includes everything other than the parts that are donated. So right now that would not include this battery, the charge controller, either one or the inverter, or the uh, uh, four-inch piece of PVC pipe, uh, or the uh, donated weather vane signs, and some of the uh, sundry items, um, caulk. Uh, paint, um, PVC pipe cement, uh, primer, that sort of thing. Uh, doesn't include that. But you can see with the cost analysis that uh, uh, from what we purchased so far, you can see our 45 watt DC motor uh, with the shipping and everything that was $75. The uh, hub and arbor assembly uh, that's going to be about $20.50. The blades um, you know, that's cutting all that up, uh, using that whole thing and creating blades. So each blade would basically come down to a dollar six, and uh, for three blades, three dollars and eighteen cents total. Um, the mounting bolts, oh, that's yeah, that's what um, these galvanized uh, parts are here. Sorry, I put them on the wrong side. These are to mount the uh, uh, in these uh, quarter-inch washers or uh, locking nuts uh, with the vinyl insets, those are to uh, to actually mount the uh, blades onto the arbor. Uh, so all of that we're looking at a dollar forty-four on down the list for all these parts that you kind of see in front of us, broken down, uh, including the um, uh, seven percent sales tax for uh, this region uh, would be. Uh, 14 cents per item. So the uh, extended cost out, when you get everything added up, for all the parts you see here, you're looking at uh, $189.75. Again, that would be less the donated items and the time and labor involved in producing this, which we're going to try to do next Saturday, uh, starting next Saturday uh, around 2 p.m. Uh, we're going to create this first one and get it uh, put together assembled hopefully and be able to get it tested to see uh, how well it works. So that's the first video installment and we'll uh, record again next Saturday. Goodbye.